Leo. Let's get a message for you. Let's get a message for Leo. Okay. Okay. Don't miss out on opportunities because you're too attached to something that's um that you're used to, right? Like okay, there's new opportunities, so be aware of that. Let me do one more shuffle here. Leo. Message for Leo, please. Message for Leo, please. This card wants to fall. Message for Leo. Okay, one more shuffle. All right, we have we have your message. Ace of Swords, something. Um, when it comes to, I'm going to start with money, okay? Like how much you receive. I feel like pretty soon you're going to get a message about money. So it could be a message. This feels like a message you've been trying to get clarity on, like whether or not it's going to come through or if you're going to get it. Or if what you're doing is going to actually bring in profits or positive results, pretty soon you're going to know. Six days, six weeks. Or on the 6th of July, like you're going to know. There's going to be a message, it's going to be direct, and you'll know, like your money situation, you'll get some clarity on that. Okay. All right. No. Don't worry. They're saying don't worry, especially if it's about money. Nine of Swords in reverse. Don't worry about money. Don't. Pretty soon you'll know or you're going to be given really good options when it comes to how to make money or how to pay certain things. Something's about to come through. Nine of Cups. Are these cards in reverse or am I picked them up in reverse? Okay. No, these are in reverse. Don't worry about relationships. Uh, some of you might be having a hard time in the relationship department. I feel like y'all message is coming in pieces. There's multiple messages y'all getting. They're coming in fragments. Number one, don't worry about money. Number two, don't worry about relationships because I feel like some of y'all are having problems in your relationships and around money. They're saying don't worry about it. Only It seems like that's coming up strong because you can um, manifest Worst case scenario, if you keep pondering on it. So just let things kind of flow right now, okay? Let things flow. Three of Pentacles. I see things working out. Now, here's one thing. Leo, don't be too stubborn and like bullheaded on things. Like try to compromise. If someone's giving you an option and you have to maybe, you know, give up something to receive something bigger... You might want to consider that. Don't be too stubborn and rigid on ideas. Be open to compromise. I, I have to tell you that because I feel like you have to work with what you were given and what you got and work with the people around you. Okay? Three of Swords. Yeah, you're going to have to work with people. I feel like that's where the most disappointment comes. Like you might get news that you wanted but it might not be exactly how you want it to be work with what is given to you let's keep going um some some of you you're you're focusing on just the negative aspect of something you're not seeing the positive side of it yeah money is going to be good you'll be fine money is coming in stability uh if you're trying to get approved on a home like, I feel like you're going to be approved. You're going to get that place that you're wanting. Because some of y'all, you're not sure. Um, others, you're going to get that job. So I see an offer letter coming through. Okay. Eight of Cups. You might have to move. Or you might have to let things go. If it's not a physical move. You have to turn your back on certain things, certain ideas. And these could be your own things that you've been pushing for and now you gotta 
take another route. Some of y'all have this bittersweet new beginning happening here. It feels good. It just doesn't feel all good. Like there's, there's sacrifices you got to make. Some of y'all, it's location. Others of you, it's people, it's relationships, it's ideas, it's projects. And then some of y'all, it's simply your ego and your pride. Like you got to humble yourself and just go with the flow, compromise, work with what you got because they're trying to put you on a different path. Hopefully you choose a different route. You're at a fork in the road. Your choices matter. What are you going to do? Now, this part has a lot to do with romantic relationships, okay? Because that's what they're showing me. When it comes to a specific romantic relationship, especially if it's a like on and off again type of situation, you want to make a choice and stick to it. Because I... It, I'm getting like, it's just not going to work. Someone is not able to understand what you're feeling. Like they can only see their side. They're not considerate of what you're feeling. And that's a hard compromise to make. Of course, it's still up to you, but just be mindful of this. Page of Pentacles, new beginnings, new, new experiences, learning how to do things different. Okay, I, I need to clarify this guy because of how he's looking at me. Page of Pentacles. Okay, yep. Hangman in reverse. A lot of cards here, but Hangman tells me, be open to starting at square one and relearning something you thought you knew. Um, somebody from your past, or this could just be like childhood memories. Let me see what else I get. Yeah, there's break. Okay, so some of y'all, three swords here again. There's something, it's just not going to work. Not right now in today's energy, like right now energy. This thing doesn't work. And I feel like it's somebody you really have a lot of feelings for. Yep, two of wands. I just feel like heartbreak over it. And you're learning Listen, pay attention to the messages. Wow, what was that? That flipped. And it flipped in reverse. Some of y'all are attached to a person. A king of, I'm sorry, not a cups here. In reverse. That is just not your person. I feel like it's a false person or something. Or it feels right, but it's always temporary. It's in and out. Page of wands. Now we got like three wands here. Three pages. Some of y'all keep dealing with young energy that has a lot of growing to do. And this could be you. But there's a relationship that's just not it right now. And they're trying to get that message to you. And they hope you can see it differently. You can see things differently. Hold a different perspective around that connection. It seems like for some somebody, that is your Achilles heel. And that is your setback. Trying to work with somebody where it's not going to work. And it, it feels like you're doing it out of like the goodness of your heart. Or like you're coming from a good space trying to work, trying to compromise, it's not going to, it's not going to work. Wow. The lovers. Wow. 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 It, it's, okay. So there's a very strong connection to a specific person. This could be what's really messing with the whole vibe of what's happening in your life right now. Some of y'all got some intercepting energies that I, I can say it's bringing bad luck to you. Like that's the best way to explain it. It's not in your best interest to have this energy around anymore. At least not right now. Anything can happen in the future, but for now, no. They got you focusing on other things. I feel like your stability, your money, feeling secure within is more important. There's a connection you have. It's messing with your confidence. I can say that. It's um, your self-worth, right? How you feel about yourself. Some of you, you measure how well your life is going based on your relationships. Let's see what we get here. 
And these are relationships that are taking a lot of effort to keep them going. Here's what I'm getting. Two, like, the, the two main things is money concerns, relationship concerns. And some of y'all are dealing with both of those. And in order to get your money concerns back good, there's some decisions, tough decisions you got to make around your personal relationships. Okay. Anyway, I hope y'all are actually hearing what I'm saying. Mature man, make more mature decisions. Some of y'all keep dealing with young energies, immature energies. They're trying to get you to become more mature. Yeah, because I'm just getting despair. You see the not hiring sign back there? Some of you may be concerned about like not have enough. You don't have money. Your money situation changes when you stop giving to an unhealthy situation when it comes to your emotions. It's all energy. If you keep giving your or the action you're taking, if it keeps on not giving back to you, right? It's not in your benefit. You're simply sending mixed signals like I'm not worth good things. I'm not worth things of value. You have to check where you're giving emotionally specifically here because that changes, it changes things for you financially for you, like in a positive way. So stop giving where you're not being received well and watch other things in your life change. Leo, that's your message. And I'm going to leave it there. Actually, I did, I'm pulling these for others. So the other signs, let me get you guys some. Leo, I just see this despair. I'm seeing worry. They're saying don't worry. Don't worry. As long as you're making the right choices for yourself, don't worry. Okay. Message for Leo. Oh, that was fast. Here and now. Live in the present. Here. Live in the present. Looks like y'all lucky number today is 32. Live in the present. Um, live in the here and now. Don't think too far out in the future, too much in the past. Some of you may have a connection to a Leo. Okay, I'm getting Leo energy. They, they have some of y'all similar cards. Here and now. Be present in the moment. Okay? All right. That's your message. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.